Here's a look at your news headlines for March 10th, 2015 on 1690 WJGP Wolverine Radio. I'm Mike Minarski. Uncle Cranky's Cafe on Main Street, Jewett City, is trying to make things a little better for Jewett City and give folks a different experience when they come to the establishment. Frank Rabino, owner of Uncle Cranky's, has a plan in place. Uh, tonight I'm interested in putting an outside patio uh, outside of the business so we can um, have somewhere in town where you can sit, eat, have a nice dinner, and uh, enjoy the nice, beautiful streets of Jewett City. Rubino was told last night that he needed some more information about the property before the Planning and Zoning Commission gave its approval. Uncle Cranky's is in their 10th year of operation, offering a full menu, bar service, and weekend entertainment. The borough of Jewett City will elect a new warden this next election. The Republican Party has endorsed John Connolly. Connolly had yet to announce his candidacy, but when asked by Wolverine Radio last evening, Connolly did say that he would be seeking the position. First Selectman Kevin Schoolcheck is pleased with the endorsement from the Republican Party. Oh, I think John Connolly's going to be a fine warden once he's elected, and uh, I think he'll work well with the, uh, the present administration in the future. Well, as a registered Republican uh, and a part of the Republican Party, I certainly support uh, the Republicans running, but uh, Mr. Connolly has my confidence uh, as he runs for uh, the Borough Ward. Connolly currently serves on the Board of Burgesses in the borough. Current warden, Alan Gear is expected to retire. Governor Malloy's latest proposal to overhaul Connecticut's liquor laws is receiving a mixed reception at state capitol. The Distilled Spirits Council hailed the Democrats' plan to end the state's minimum bottle price requirement and allow more competitive alcohol pricing as a victory for consumers and the state. In testimony provided Monday to the legislature's finance committee, they predicted $150 million in new state revenue that would be generated. However, there's always two sides to every story. The Connecticut Beer Wholesalers Association said increasing the number of retail permits an owner can hold from three to six favors chain stores. The group predicted small liquor stores will ultimately close. Wolverine Radio News is being brought to you by Eastern Savings Bank with branches in Jewett City, Plainfield, and Norwich. Sports and weather, next. Eastern Savings Bank has a home loan that's right for you. Let one of our experienced lending professionals help you find the loan that best fits your needs. For more information, visit our lending center at eastern-savings.com. Stop by any of our convenient branches or call 860-889-7381 to schedule an appointment. Eastern Savings Bank, local lenders, local decisions, with offices in Norwich, Jewett City, and Plainfield. Eastern Savings Bank, because it matters. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Taking a look at Wolverine Radio Sports. Plainfield got by Enfield last night with a 50-46 win in their Class M first round state tournament game. The number 11 Panthers go to the second round Wednesday night against Notre Dame Fairfield, who demolished Wyndham Tech 81-21. Wade Miley had an impressive outing in his first appearance in a Red Sox uniform. Miley pitched three scoreless innings, giving up just three hits and had three strikeouts as the Sox down St. Louis in Grapefruit League action yesterday, three to nothing. The New York Yankees got an RBI single from Alex Rodriguez and held off a three-run eighth-inning surge from the Tampa Bay Rays yesterday, four to three. Rodriguez went two for three overall. The Celtics turned down the heat, so to speak, last night as they defeated Miami 100-90. Isaiah Thomas led the way for the green with 25 points, while Brandon Bass added 14. Four Celtics players were in double figures. In other NBA action, it was the Denver Nuggets over the Knicks, 106-78. The Bruins were off last night, and the New England Patriots will not pick up the $20 million option in Darrell Rivas's contract, making the star cornerback a free agent as of today. Here's a look at your 1690 WJGP Wolverine radio weather forecast. Chance of showers today after 3 p.m. Increasing clouds with a high near 46 degrees for tonight. Rain likely, mainly before midnight. Patchy fog, otherwise cloudy with a low around 33 degrees. For Wednesday, partly sunny with a calm wind, high near 51. Wednesday night, 
mostly clear with a low around 28 and the outlook for Thursday sunny with a high near 41 and there's a possibility of more snow for Friday. And that's what's happening, updated and accurate. Rely on us for local news on the air at 1690 or the TuneIn app for your tablet or smartphone. And always online at mygriswold.com. I'm Mike Minarski, Wolverine Radio News.